hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel today is monday and we are all monday mended monday mended you know guys is all about us sharing and learning the scriptures together so today we are on season two episode three we have just started season two and season two have episodes and we are going to go through these episodes Mon monday mended comes to you every monday morning on monday mended we learn the scriptures we study together with some inspirational words that we go through with a particular topic to carry us through the week you know guys my channel is all about being informed inspired and motivated simply by boino my name is boino and this is my channel you are most welcome so if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys please subscribe and hit that bell of notification that way you're going to be notified whenever i upload new video so for those my viewers and subscribers i want to welcome you and if you are just passing by please subscribe and hit that bell of notification you're gonna be notified whenever i upload new video so let's get straight into our topic on season two the topic of season two is god says rest from your work so today let's see what scriptures we're going to go through today and the inspirational words that today has for us today our scriptures our main scriptures is taken because we're going to have other scriptures so i will say our main scriptures for today is taken from psalm 37 verse 6 so on Psalms 37 verse 6 say, and he shall bring forth that righteousness has the light and that judgment has the noon day so what's our inspirational words for today it is so delightful for us to wait in the lord and we are instructed to wait in the lord that's what the bible tells us the bible says that we should wait in the lord for everything that we need everything that we desire we should wait in the lord and we should wait patiently whatever the problem is whatever the situation is we should wait patiently in the lord painful it's pressurable it, it's not easy to wait on god and if you decide to wait it's hard but we should be patient they waiting if we decide to wait on god we should wait patiently it's hard but we should know that it's hard but continue waiting because our waiting is not easy and it's so difficult for us to wait on god yeah it's difficult the time alone to wait is difficult and our brain it cannot even comprehend the waiting the idea of all that we have to wait that we want something and we think that we're in the right position for us to get that thing and then we are waiting it's hard yeah it's very hard the wait time is very hard yeah and we know that god's timing is not our timing we will say oh yes we're ready for this everything is set oh why can i have this i'm capable i'm i'm, I'm in the position why can i do this why can i this that but our tummy is not god's tummy and we all know that god's time is the best and some of the songs that we sing god will not come the time we want him sometimes we think that the situation is so perfect like some of us right now we think that the situation is so perfect we like god this is a perfect situation this is a perfect time i have what i want i'm comfortable i'm okay but why why am i still waiting why can't you give me this why 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 are you what what is the hold on but he may not come the time that we expecting him to come the time that we think that it is so perfect it is so right but he will be there right on time 
he's the God that is on time. And yes, he's on time. He showed it to us in the Bible. He showed it to us in the past. There are so many things that God has been on time for. And we can be like, oh, this is the right time. Oh my God, you have done it again. So if he did it for us in the past, we waited patiently and he came true. And what we waited for, it came true. So why not? We can wait for what we are going through right now, what we are waiting for, what we are expecting him to do for us. He will come true on his time, which will be the perfect time. Yeah? We know that the God we serve, he's faithful. We know definitely that he will not let us down. We know definitely that he's going to come true for us. But we, human being, we do not have that patience. We do not have that, that strength. We struggle in waiting. We struggle to wait for that time that will come. Yes. But we should wait. We shouldn't allow ourselves to be struggled. Yet and still we know that he will come. He's faithful in his words. What he said he will do, he will do. We should wait on him and he will definitely come. That is where the lesson is. That's, that. That's the lesson that God is showing us. In that space, in that period that we ask God, and that time that he will grant to us what we want him to give us, between those period, that waiting period, between that space, that amount of time, that's the lesson. He watching us. He looking at us to see what we are doing. If we are waiting in him, if we are not waiting the wrong way, if we are waiting the right way, if we are waiting patiently in him, if we put all of our trust, all of our hope in him, that is that space. Within that space, that's when God is watching us to see if we are faithful enough to him to see if we do not just come to him because we want this for him he's watching us to see if this thing if we are capable if we are in the position if we can endure it, if we can go through if if we are patiently and know that what we're asking for in our mind in our heart in our spirit that we know he will give it to us and so we should wait in that space that where the struggle is and that's where the lesson that we should learn on waiting that we should learn before we be granted that desire that thing that we have for that's where god is god that's where the problem is and in that waiting we should exercise faith that's why god's one he don't just want us to wait be grumbling be be moved be wary but we should wait in faith we should wait with strength in him. We should wait in praising him. We should wait in drawing closer and closer to him. We shouldn't just sit there and give up on ourselves. We shouldn't just sit there and say time is passing by us. We shouldn't just sit there and say this is, this is not going to happen. But we should be faithful. Faithful in our waiting. If we can learn to just trust in him. And keep our faith in him and trust in him and know and believe what his words say that we should patiently wait faithfully wait that he will come true for us then in our waiting people will not be struggling yeah then the waiting people will not be hard for us then the waiting people will not be molded greed grimly or 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 uh that 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 depressing way for us no it won't be that but we will wait joyfully in him yeah and we should exercise that patience and in that waiting period when we when we when we wait in him then we will find rest because that is the rest that he wants us he wants us to rest in our situation he wants us to rest in what we told him what we asked him for he already know it that's why he said be still and know that i am god he wants us to rest that he will come true for us he wants us to rest that he will deliver he wants us to rest in whatever that we have placed before him and we and in that rest we put our faith in him we will know how he will come for us he will come true for us and that will rest in him and waiting and resting patiently in him it will be so sweet we will have a sweet period of wait in the lord that's why he said we should rest we should wait and be faithful and patiently waiting in him so my beautiful people there are some scriptures that i'm going to put in 
for us that talk about us resting and waiting on God resting in the Lord because God says we should rest from our work and our work is some of the things that trouble us our work is the work that we do with our hands our work is when we pray to God and then we are waiting the worry the depression the anxiety the stress all of these things are work they come with strength they come with energy he wants us to rest so let me let me come up with some scriptures that we can study that will help us to wait on our God. Yep. Okay. In Genesis, okay, I'm going to give some few few scriptures. In Genesis, after spending six days forming the world, God rested. Genesis chapter two, verse two. Read that. God rested. In Matthew chapter eight, verse twenty-three to twenty-six, he he rested in the boat. When he and the disciple were sailing in a boat, he also rested. So we can study those scriptures. We can study those scriptures and, and understand and learn how God himself waited so that we can be able to wait patiently and sweetly in him. So guys, let us pray. Lord, you know that I am not the most patient person in the world. I don't like to wait. I ask that you help me to gain a new perspective on waiting and show me how to use my wait time to exercise my faith. I thank you for constantly helping me to grow in you. Sometimes the growing is painful, but it is always worth it. Amen. So our scripture today is taken from Psalm 37 verse 6 to 7. We say, And he shall bring forth that righteousness has the light and that judgment has the new day. Rest in the Lord. So we can go and read this whole scripture from verse 1. For Psalm chapter 7, chapter 37 from verse 1 all the way to verse 40. Yeah, from verse 1 all the way to verse 40. Yeah, and rest in the Lord. Verse, verse 7, from verse 6 to verse 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his ways, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Okay, so the scripture you can read some verse 37. Chapter 37 from verse 6 to 7. Or you can read the full scripture all the way. And it, uh, it is a good help of how God wants us to rest in Him. So my beautiful people, I'm going to stop here today. I hope I didn't go long in today's uh, words. But I thank you. Sometimes it just come about. But I thank you for viewing my channel today. I thank you for staying with me on Monday, Monday, for those of you that follow me through. And I hope you understand and I make sense of what I talk about today. So thank you. I'll see you again on my next video. Have a good day. I love you guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.